sale. This happened in a neighborhood off of Scottsdale Road and McDowell. A lot of police officers there right now. Yeah, reporter Cristiana Ramos is there at the scene, just spoke to police and has an update for us tonight. Cristiana. Well, you can see this is still a very active scene, but there's no threat to the community. Right now, the suspect is still at large. There's no description. And right now, we do know that one victim was taken to the hospital, and they did die from their injuries. There is still a lot of information that we are working to get. We spoke to several witnesses and neighbors in the area. I'm told from a neighbor that a party was going on, and when they walked outside, they started to hear arguing, and then that's when they heard the gunshots. The neighbor also says that they saw a victim being taken uh, on a stretcher into an ambulance. We are working to get that information confirmed. And like I said, police are still lurking, uh, looking for a suspect and they have no description at this time, but there is no threat to this immediate area anymore. As soon as we learn more information, we'll continue to keep you updated on air and through our AZ Family News app. All right, thank you so much, Christiana. A very serious crash shut down the I-10 at 43rd Avenue tonight. Phoenix fire crews say there was an infant taken to the hospital in what they are calling extremely serious condition. You'll be able to see from this ADOT camera, all westbound lanes were shut down earlier tonight. We know a teenager was also hurt in this crash. Quite a backup there. DPS shutting down the highway to investigate. We'll let you know when that road reopens. And once we find out what caused the crash, we'll share that with you as well. And Phoenix police are looking into a head-on crash that killed two people and sent two others to the hospital. This happened yesterday on US 93 between Su Saguaro and Apache Lakes. Investigators say two people were flown to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police are still trying to figure out the cause of this crash. And police have identified the woman who died in a hit-and-run crash on 35... Fifth Avenue and Bethany home on Thursday. Investigators say the victim is 38 year old Norma Nichols. Police say she was crossing in the area when she was hit by a car. We're told that driver took off and still has not been caught. All right, 902 on your Saturday evening. Hope it's been a good start to the weekend for you. Holly Bach, looking forward to our forecast. What do we oh, need yeah. to expect over the next couple days here? A little bit chilly. And, you know, I was uh, outside last night, and I still am just, like, in the hopes of, like, oh, I'll wear shorts and a tank top, and it'll all be okay. You're not used to this no. chillier weather? Come on. No, and it makes you just want to be ready for warmer weather. But we're in I'm store for a cool ready week. for it, too. Yeah. Oh, and then once it gets here, we'll be like, I was going to say, when it's 110 and 115, okay. I don't want to hear any That's complaining. Very true. I know. <laughs> we're in store for uh, a little bit of a cool week ahead of us. Uh, today was definitely a cold one, especially early this morning. Uh, we woke up at 38 degrees here at Phoenix Sky Harbor. That is the coldest reading we've had since December 17th. Our high today was only 59 degrees, well below our average of 68. Want to get you outside right now to current temperatures in the 40s and 50s across the valley. However, some areas uh, up north like Cave Creek have already dropped into the upper 30s right now. So it's going to be another very cool morning for us, especially up in the high country or if you're planning on traveling up north or east for tomorrow, temps are going to be below freezing. 36 for Phoenix and lower 30s from Casa Grande to Tucson, upper 20s for Sierra Vista. So we do have this freeze warning just south and east of the valley all the way down to Casa Grande, out in Tucson as well until early tomorrow morning, again with those temperatures at near that freezing point. So definitely bring your pets inside. Uh, make sure you're protecting your plants as well. On top of that, we have a wind advisory for western areas. Arizona. Our next system is bringing in these cooler temperatures, windy conditions, but also the chance for some snow. We'll time that out for you in just a couple of minutes, guys. All right. Thank you, Holly. And if you want to stay in the know when it comes to Arizona weather, just download our free AZ Family First Alert weather app. You can scan that QR code right there on your screen with your phone's camera to download it. The Navajo Nation is ending their mask policy, which had been in effect since the early days of the pandemic. The reservation spans a large part of the Northeast Arizona, and it had one of the longest standing mask policies in the country. The virus hit the Navajo Nation hard, with more than 2,000 COVID-related deaths reported. The new president of the Navajo Nation, Boo Nigren, pledged to lift the mandate while campaigning. He was sworn into office earlier this month. He says the mask requirement will still be in effect in schools, nursing homes, and health care facilities. The president saying in a statement, quote, we as a nation are much more aware and much more prepared than in April 2020.
aggression right there. That bobcat has become the talk of a neighborhood in Buckeye over the last few days. The feline named Mama Bobcat ran the rounds on social media after she was found with a rubber dryer hose around her neck. Professional trappers were able to finally catch her today and get the hose off her neck. When she had got in, into the cage and kind of moving back and forth, it was binding when she would turn around from position to position. And one of the times when she had rotated around the trap, it gave her enough leverage to where it started to slip off. And I just reached in and just grabbed it the rest of the way and it popped right off. The Bobcat has since been released back into the neighborhoods around Buckeye. Day one of the Barrett Jackson car auction is in the books. It's a car lover's dream, and you really don't have to wake up from it if you go there because it's just endless amounts oh, yeah. of cars. <laughs> there are still eight days left for people to enjoy the at the uh, Westworld in Scottsdale. Casey Torres has a look at the rides up for auction. It's a quiet showroom right now with photographer Jake Harton, myself, and a lot of security personnel around. They're all keeping their eyes on these stunning vehicles. But earlier today, car lovers got a chance to look at these cars, but not touch. Hot wheels everywhere you look, from classic muscle cars to the Batmobile. It's a sight car lovers can't get enough of. Oh, it's been awesome. There's so many different cars here. I mean, it's different variety. I've been around it all my life. So I, the cars, I love cars. So that's my, my thing. And it's a thing for a lot of people checking out the Barrett Jackson car auction show. Organizers expect 350,000 car fans to show up during the nine day stretch. That's the part Rodney Scares loves. I love seeing all the smiling faces. What's really great about Barrett Jackson is you can have multiple generations of families coming together. You know, grandfather, father, grandson, granddaughter, mother. It's really a family event, something for everybody. There are over 1,900 vehicles on the docket this year. Keys going to the highest bidder. But if you don't have the green to get one of these, looking is good enough for most. It, it's fantastic to see all these different artworks and art pieces that people put the time and effort and budgets into. It's just, it's amazing. Plus, there's a the part about helping others that needs to be mentioned. This 2021 Shelby Super Snake is one of five charity vehicles to be auctioned off. This custom build being sold by Camp Freedom, a Pennsylvania organization helping disabled veterans and first responders. Whoever's buying this vehicle, they're not just buying a car. It's a beautiful car. It's one of one. It's all of the things I said, but the reality is they're investing in saving the lives of true American heroes, veterans and first responders. The executive director for Camp Freedom says Barrett Jackson in Arizona is the place to auction off a vehicle. So this Shelby will be up for grabs on Friday, just like most of the cars in this showroom here. And the final day for you to come here and check things out will be next Sunday. Reporting in Scottsdale, Casey Torres, Arizona's family. All right, thank you so much, Casey. Federal leaders say the surge of migrants coming across the border hit record numbers in December. According to officials, migrant crossings last month were up 40% compared to a year ago. And this is video you're about to see from El Paso, where a majority of migrants have been crossing in the past few months. Officials say mostly Cubans and Nicaraguans crossed into the U.S. in December. Last month's numbers were also the highest number of illegal border crossings recorded during any month of President Biden's presidency. Meantime, some of these migrants at the southern border have been taken to other places in the country like Colorado, and the cold weather has come to a, as a surprise for migrants who mostly come from warmer climates. I would see it on TV and in movies. I felt very emotional because all my life I wanted to see how snow falls, and in my country of Cuba, we don't get snow. According to leaders in Denver, close to 4,400 migrants have arrived in the city as of January 18th. So to come tonight, the Art of the Cowgirl, the Valley event that is paying tribute to the women, bringing life to cowboy culture. And helping one of the most lovable dogs, how one group is trying to find huskies a forever home. And a super cleanup. We'll show you how hundreds of volunteers helped our community today. 
sure hope you're having a good Saturday so far. I'm Gina Maravia. I want to talk to you about our weekend construction closures. We've got quite a few in effect. Now, let's start you out on the I-17. Right now, northbound I-17 is closed, northern up to Greenway. We expect this to be in effect all weekend long until early Monday morning at 5 a.m. And then the 303 eastbound side is closed from Lake Pleasant Parkway over to the I-17. We expect this one to reopen by Sunday night, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Let's take you to the East Valley. Three different closures here. First of all, the State Route 143, the entire stretch of the southbound side is closed from the 202 down to the I-10. This one will also be closed until early Monday morning. And then please, in the East Valley, make a note of this one. US 60 eastbound is closed right now. Country Club over to Gilbert Road. This will be closed also until early Monday morning at 5 a.m. One more closure here in the East Valley to give you a heads up on. The I-10 westbound ramp to the US 60 eastbound is closed, also closed until Monday morning morning early. Hear about weather first from your first alert weather and traffic team on Arizona's Family 3 TV. It's time to bring your area rugs back to life with a professional cleaning from Stanley Steamer. We have Phoenix's best state-of-the-art rug cleaning facility. Our amazing multi-step process gets your rugs cleaner than any other traditional method. Cleaning both sides of your rug as well as any fringe, removing spots in urine other methods can't. We do things the right way and make sure your rugs look great before returning them to your home. Call or go online to learn more about our professional area rug cleaning services. Stanley Steamer, it's your home cleaner. There will always be bumps in the road, but we got guts, America. We got power. We got future. So let's drive on and make the future we want to see together. So stop by your Ford dealer today and claim one of the thousands of new Ford trucks and SUVs on their way. Now, get special offers at 3.9% APR for 60 months on a 2022 Ford F-150 XLT. Plus 1,000 bonus cash only at your desert Ford dealers. At Wells Fargo, direct deposits come up to two days early with early payday. What if everything came two days early? Have a good weekend, Mary. All right now. Have a good weekend. But it's Wednesday. See you Monday. Am I missing something? It's the weekend, baby. See you later. Like getting things two days early? When it comes to payday, you can with Wells Fargo. What are you doing this weekend? You have to live. Sorry, Tex. You don't have to be sorry. You never ran from anything in your life. You're not going to start now. You got to fight it. Mm. Wait a minute. Oh, snap. Dallas just covered the spread. <laughs> we hey. got the money, baby. Jamie. Bang. <laughs> Jamie, did, could you just thank you? You're right. You're right. Phone's off. Okay. Where was I? Oh, I was dying. Dying. Let's go. Sorry. someone who deserves a visit from the Arizona's Family Surprise Squad? Nominate them at azfamily.com and click on the Surprise Squad tab. They could win $5,000. Arizona's Family Surprise Squad, sponsored by Valley Toyota Dealers and only on Arizona's Family 3 TV. When the weather hits, your first alert weather team is there with Storm Commander. No matter the weather, no matter the season. In the valley and across the state, Storm Commander's taking you to the front line. Sponsored by Lion Droopy. And only on Arizona's Family. All right, welcome back, everybody. I want to update you on uh, a fatal shooting investigation that's happening in Scottsdale right now. In the last 15 minutes, we got an update from Scottsdale police. They say someone was shot and killed in a neighborhood just off of Scottsdale and McDowell Roads. That shooting happened uh, about three hours ago at this point, around 6.15 tonight. Police say at least one person is dead. Right now, investigators say the suspect has not been caught. They have not identified the suspect. Still investigating out there tonight. So some roads 70th and Palm Lane are blocked off right now. As soon as we get another update on this, we'll be sure to let you know here and on our AZ Family News app. Turning now to the Super Bowl, the Arizona Super Bowl Hosts Committee is doing a series of community cleanup events leading up to the big game. So more than 700 volunteers helped clean up the Salt River today. They've removed invasive apple snails and trash from the river. This was the largest community volunteer cleanup ever implemented by NFL Green. That is a project managed by the league to reduce the environmental impacts of major events like the Super Bowl.
One of the goals of hosting Super Bowl is to make sure we leave a lasting legacy, and there's no better way than coming out here to Salt River, doing a massive restoration project. Apple snails can overpopulate the water and destroy the aquatic vegetation they live in, so that's why the group worked to remove them today. In Queen Creek, some fans of the Old West got together for this year's Art of the Cowgirl event. This event recognizes the contributions women made to the Old West. 14 different workshops covering everything from craftsmanship, horsemanship, and photography were held. This event continues tomorrow in Queen Creek if you still want to check it out. It is at the Horseshoe Park and Equestrian Center. Tickets are starting at 60 bucks. The federal government is spending half a billion dollars to cut the risk of devastating wildfires in Arizona and across the West. So that's money going to help crews clear brush from the grounds that can actually fuel the flames in our national forests. So here in Arizona, the work will be done in the Tonto and Coronado National Forests. Crews want to mitigate the risk of a natural forest fire from growing out of control and then burning through a community. You have to have a sense of urgency because we've seen where communities are at risk, what happens. And it's not just burned homes, lost lives, although that is critically important. It's also the critical infrastructure that communities depend on. The money for this project will come from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and the Inflation Reduction Act. The Secretary of Agriculture admits they are up against the challenge of finding enough workers for this massive project. It is one of the most popular dog breeds in the country, and today one group in the Valley had an adoption event specifically for them. Today, the KD Husky Rescue of Arizona held a free adoption no. event for some husky puppies in Scottsdale. Oh, look at those faces. These dogs <laughs> have almost human-like personalities. They can talk your heads off, <laughs> especially when you have food. And those, don't be afraid if these puppies aren't howling now. It takes a little bit of patience and a treat. They will howl back at you. In addition to trying to find these dogs a new home, the group also partnered with U.S. Egg Brunch Restaurant to sell <laughs> some dog-shaped pancakes called Pupcakes. A creative name. Seeing all those That's huskies so making me think of the movie Snow Dogs. You remember oh, that? Yes. Yeah. That's all I can think about. I know. That was a great movie. A little nostalgia for that you That was a lot of nostalgia. <laughs> Every time I see Huskies, I think of just those videos all over social media of them, like, howling and yelling and screaming. Have you guys seen those videos? Oh. That sounds <laughs> uh, it sounds pretty entertaining, It's like though. Huskies talking, oh, okay. and so it's their way of talking, but they're, oh. like, yelling. That just sounds like... very cute. They're so cute. That sounds like a desperate dog owner just thinking that their dog is actually talking to them. <laughs> yeah, right? They're like, look how cute. <laughs> uh, very cute out there, guys. Uh, Want to start with this live shot out of downtown Phoenix right now. A really gorgeous night tonight. 50 degrees out there. Calm winds and humidity at about 48% right now. It's cold up north. We're already below freezing in the Grand Canyon. Many areas up north below freezing at this point. We're at 29 degrees in pace in 50 here in Phoenix and in the 40s down in southern Arizona. So once again going to be a very cool night tonight. We're looking at areas just south and east of the Phoenix metro area under this freeze warning. That's for Casa Grande, even a hard freeze warning further down south into areas like Tucson. Overnight tonight, we're expecting many of these areas, those temperatures to drop into the lower 30s. So definitely bring your pets inside. Of course, check on your loved ones. Make sure they have a way to stay warm as well. Now we're looking ahead to tomorrow and all of these areas you see here on your screen in brown. That includes uh, Kingman, Lake Havasu, down to Blythe and Yuma, right along the Colorado River. We could see some blowing dust tomorrow afternoon into early Monday morning. We're expecting wind gusts in those areas. Uh, to about 55 miles an hour. And that's all because we have this next storm system moving on into the region. So you can see that dip in the jet stream, this low pressure system going to keep those cooler temperatures around. Also kick up the wind just a little bit and bring in the chance for some snow for the higher elevations of our state by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. So we're looking at possibly four inches for Flagstaff, about three inches out in eastern Arizona. Again, this is timing out to tomorrow evening into early Monday morning morning with that system. Nonetheless, temps here across the valley still going to be very cold early tomorrow morning in the 30s throughout 8, 9 o'clock. So I would recommend having a layer or two with you as you're stepping out the door. 46 by 10 o'clock and all around Arizona. We're looking at temperatures in the 40s tomorrow in Prescott, cooler in areas like Heber. So if you're traveling anywhere for tomorrow, definitely pack the layers. 50s and 40s for Cottonwood. We're dropping to 30s in Pine Top by the beginning of the work week. 
If you're looking to go to areas like Flagstaff, again, we're looking at light snow tomorrow night into early Monday morning. Again, three, possibly four inches falling there. Temps will be in the 40s in areas like Sedona, Payson, and the Grand Canyon dropping to 30 degrees by the time we get to the start of the work week. So here in the Valley, average for this time of the year is 68. You can see we are well below that the next couple of days. Monday, we'll struggle to even make it into the 50s. That's going to be the coolest day out of the next seven. By Tuesday, we're looking at a first alert just because uh, those very cold temperatures, if that freeze warning uh, takes over a majority of the valley, will of course let you know. But as of right now, again, it is for south and east of the Phoenix metro area. We're back to 60s by Wednesday. Next weekend, looking like a nice one. 52. Those overnight lows. Whew. Right? Freezing. Burr. All right, how does a $150,000 bathroom sound? Well, that's how much it will cost the city of Phoenix for a new pilot program that would bring a public restroom to downtown. Yeah, this certainly has some people talking mm -hmm. this weekend. It's called the Portland Loo, and once installed this summer, it'll give people experiencing homelessness access to a bathroom 24-7. Cities across the country already use them, and city officials now wanting to bring it to Phoenix. It's the toilet that has people talking. It's an indestructible building that is difficult to vandalize. We're excited to try out the Portland Loo. Yes, the Loo made in Portland, Oregon is coming to Phoenix. This singular stall is open at all times for people who need to go. It's a pretty basic thing, public bathroom access. I think we should be um, doing everything we can to make that something that's more accessible. One of these will cost up to about $150,000. The vice mayor, Yasemin Ansari, says it's worth it. She says the Portland Loo is cheaper than similar options and doesn't need much maintenance. It's something that's built off of addressing all of these issues that city staff um, tend to deal with. On the outside, the shell is graffiti proof and there are openings so police can see inside if needed. It's supposed to prevent people from destroying it and make it safe. Ansari also says this restroom has blue lights inside to make it tough to use drugs. The city will start with just the one toilet this summer, which will put it through a test. Will definitely be the hottest place. Uh, I mean, th I think that's probably my biggest concern. It's a steel structure. Like, is it going to stand up to 120 degree heat in, in Phoenix, Arizona? The director of the Homeless Solutions Office, Rachel Milney, is eager to see how this works in our city. If it goes well, they could bring in even more. I think I want to see how it goes. I'm excited about trying it out, but I definitely want to, I have some concerns. I want to see how it goes. Now, this first toilet is aimed for the homeless, but the, some cities have as many as 20 Portland loos that are for anyone at any time. Construction here in Phoenix is set to be done sometime this summer. You can learn more about the features of it on our AZ Family News app. All right, coming up, sailing the seven seas in the valley. We'll show you a one-of-a-kind event that is paying homage to the pirate. Do you know Tucker? Tucker Hill AC Plumbing and Electric. Time for Tucker.com. With the Fry's VIP card, it's easy to get lower than low prices for the win. Earn fuel points on every purchase and save up to a dollar a gallon at the pump. With Fry's Fuel Points, all you do is win big, big savings. Fry's, fresh for everyone. Let's go! You go for a ride. Exploring all night. Driving now. Oh, 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 oh. You go for a ride. It's your journey. Own every mile in an available H-Track all-wheel drive Hyundai Let's SUV. Go. Get 2.9% APR for 60 months or up to 750 bonus cash on the Tucson. See your Valley Hyundai dealer. With LifeWell, help is here to support our community with counseling, housing services, and addiction treatment. We focus on adults and young adults with financial need. Learn more at LifeWell.us and join our team to make a difference in the lives of others. We're hiring counselors, nursing staff, psychiatrists, and more. Start a career of hope, health, and healing at LifeWell.us. This message is sponsored by LifeWell and a Virginia G. Piper Charitable Trust COVID response grant. Teachers are a cornerstone in our community. At Arizona's Family, we honor those educators with the Silver Apple Award. What are you guys here? I'm like shaking right now, this is so <laughs> special. Now through March 10th, tell us why your teacher is so exceptional. And that teacher could win a thousand dollar prize. She takes lots of care of us and she listens when we have a problem. 
Help us say thank you to educators. Sponsored by Arizona Bank and Trust. Only on Arizona's Family. With the Fry's app, no matter where you order free pickup, you get the same great deals as you get in our stores. So start your cart today. Fries, fresh for everyone. Hey, welcome back. Some jolly old pirates got together this morning at Hidden Lake in Buckeye to celebrate pirates. So while the valley may be hundreds of miles from the nearest ocean, some lovers of the sea dogs still found a way to celebrate. It wasn't just pirates, though, who were out there. People saw some mermaids and some other creatures. There was a cannon battle, some sword fights. Oh, that's pretty cool right there. If the violence wasn't really your thing, there were also some pirate historians on hand to teach people more about them. And if you didn't get a chance to go today, they will be back out there tomorrow. All right, still to come tonight, a heated exchange between a man and a FedEx driver. We'll show you those tense moments authorities are now investigating. And a new way to play soccer. We'll show you the inclusive game where players um, Hearing is their biggest advantage. Coffee, kids, surprises, delays. Mornings don't have to be this way. Good morning, Arizona, from 4.30 to 10. We're on your side. Throughout the morning. So you know what's coming. For the day or the week. Avoiding delays on the road ahead. Giving you more time. To make a difference. Let your mornings be surprise-free. Surprise Squad is giving you free... Well, an occasional surprise. Good morning, Arizona. Weekdays from 4.30 to 10 on Arizona's Family 3 TV. When you catch that big wild trophy fish, you mount it. Sometimes on a wooden plaque... Other times on a soft sesame bun. Twice for seven bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. Do you suffer from knee pain? Ever been diagnosed with osteoarthritis? Or worried about the risks involved with knee surgery? It hurt all the time, like the nerves were rubbing against each other. I was at the point of either replace my knees because I'm tired of this pain. Get the relief you need without surgery. Wear Arthritis Knee Pain Centers, the premier leaders in non-surgical knee pain treatments. Instead of surgically replacing your knees, our state-of-the-art procedures replenish the depleted natural cushioning in your joints with an FDA-approved shock absorbing gel without surgery and without downtime after the first injection i knew it was going to work we've successfully treated thousands of patients medicare and most private insurance cover this procedure full motion no pain walking everything just back normal like it used to be now with locations in phoenix call 1-800-914-4150 for a free no obligation knee pain assessment or go to arthritis there will always be bumps in the road, but we got guts, America. We got power. We got future. So let's drive on and make the future we want to see together. So stop by your Ford dealer today and claim one of the thousands of new Ford trucks and SUVs on their way. Now, get special offers on select 2023 Ford models, like $1,000 retail order bonus cash, only at your desert Ford dealers. Gettle. G-O-E-T-T-L. When your plumbing needs attention. When your plumbing needs attention. Call Gettle. Call Gettle. We'll open that clogged drain. We'll open that clogged drain. For just $80. For just $80. Gettle. We do things the right way, not the easy way. For a limited time, get a heating system rejuvenation for just $129. Rejuvenation involves a complete system inspection. And we clean the outside coils the right way, not the easy way. Rejuvenation. G-O-E-T-T-L. For the line crew and the go-getters, there's Granger. Supplies and solutions for every industry, plus 24-7 support and over 250 local branches. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Good evening, and thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Emma Lockhart. And I'm Michael Raimondi. Let's look at some of our top headlines from around the valley tonight. We begin in Scottsdale, where police are investigating a deadly shooting. This happened in a neighborhood off of Scottsdale and McDowell Roads before 6 o'clock tonight. Police say one person was taken to the hospital but later died from their injuries. Police didn't say who was killed. We do know they're looking for a suspect. We'll update you as soon as we get some more information.
Meantime, Phoenix police are looking into a serious crash that sent an infant to the hospital with very serious injuries. We also know a teenager was hurt in the crash as well. DPS shut down the I-10 near 43rd Avenue to investigate. We'll have more details uh, as we get them on this crash. All right, today is the first day for the Barrett Jackson Car Auction in Scottsdale. It's the largest auto show in the entire country. It's expected to bring in a lot of revenue to the Valley. More than 300,000 people expected over the next week or so. There you'll be able to see also a record amount of cars for the event. There are going to be more than 1,900 for you to check out at Westworld in Scottsdale. Investigators in Georgia are looking into whether charges should be filed against a homeowner who hurled racist insults at a black delivery driver. This happened on Tuesday just outside of Atlanta, and as you'll be able to see, it was a tense moment between these two people. You want me to go to around with a white man? I don't know why uh, uh, FedEx sent a black person to my house. I told FedEx do not, keep, uh, do not uh, put uh, a black person to my house. Well, Michael Rush there was the man who was delivering packages that day. He says a man and his dog were playing fetch in the yard when he started to get a little aggressive with him. The man has since put up no trespassing signs on his property. You can keep that in your closet and be covert with it, but once you be over and as bold as he was, as soon as he said, I'm going to record you and double down on it, then we're going to come for you for everything that you're about. FedEx has since placed the man on a no delivery list. He hasn't been charged with a crime, but police are investigating to see if he should face charges. Russian military officials claimed on Saturday more gains in the Donetsk region of Ukraine. Ukraine lost up to 50 of its armed forces in recent days. Ukrainian officials are pleading with the West for modern tanks to help prepare for more Russian attacks. Christian Benavides has more. Near the besieged city of Bakhmut, Ukrainian soldiers are hoping to get advanced tanks from the West as they try to repel Russian attacks. During high-level meetings in Germany this week, more than 50 Western defense leaders, including U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, failed to reach an agreement on the tank issue. General Mark Milley said that with the right weapons and training, Ukraine can launch a significant counteroffensive in the spring. I still maintain that for this year, it would be very, very difficult to militarily eject the Russian forces from all, every inch of Ukrainian occupied or uh, Russian occupied Ukraine. Meanwhile, Friday, the U.S. designated the Russian paramilitary group Wagner as a transnational criminal organization and ordered new sanctions against the group. On Saturday, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said the world needs to stop Russia's efforts to block Ukrainian food exports. This will be at least 200 million people in different countries on three continents, Africa, Asia, and Europe, who now have decreased access to food. Zelensky also met Saturday with several families of those killed in a helicopter crash earlier this week outside Kyiv. More than a dozen people died, including Ukraine's interior minister and a child who was on the ground. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. And the U.S. Navy confirming former Navy SEAL Daniel Swift was killed during a Russian attack in eastern Ukraine this week. In tonight's Health Watch, about 1 in 33 babies are born with a birth defect every year. That's according to the CDC. In most cases, they will go on to live healthy and long lives, but birth defects are still the leading cause of infant deaths in our country. The group March of Dimes, which is a nonprofit group for infants, say most birth defects happen within the first trimester but can happen later in pregnancy too. The group suggests an expecting mother to take folic acid before and during early pregnancy. They say it can help lower the risk of birth defects. The number one cause of preventable birth defects is alcohol. And researchers did a study that showed almost one in seven pregnant people is drinking alcohol today. The exact cause of most birth defects isn't really known right now, but certain health conditions can increase chances of them. Things like diabetes are known to increase that. One internet trend that went viral on the social media app TikTok is now causing a shortage of a type 2 diabetes drug. Influencers are telling their followers to use Ozempic 
Doctors say it can be used to reduce food cravings, but those with diabetes are now struggling to get their medicine. Now the trend is creating a shortage of the drug for people who depend on it for their health. Without it, people's blood sugar levels can go up. They started out at 6.9 before I started taking it and went down to 6.1, which is almost pre-diabetic. And then it went back up to, once I wasn't able to get it, they've gone back up to 7. Really scary for these people. Ozempic's website says it's working on the shortage and hopes to have it under control by the end of March. Right now, it is selling close to $200 for a monthly supply. A Queen Creek couple says they are being targeted. A pride flag flying outside of their home has been vandalized a couple of times. Now the Homeowners Association is telling the couple the flag has to come down. This has them feeling pretty unsafe in their own community. Casey Torres spoke with the couple. It's a sign of intolerance the DeLuca couple wants the world to see. This video was posted by Jared on TikTok to make it clear he won't be intimidated. You will not quiet us. You will not silence us. And you will not win. No, you won't. In December, Jared and his husband put out a pride flag in their backyard facing a busy street in Queen Creek. The first thing that happened was one day I was outside on the back patio and I heard people uh, screaming slurs from their car while passing behind our house, which is funny because they couldn't see that I was there. They were literally just screaming at my house for the sake of screaming at it. A few days later, he says the flag was slashed, and then later someone broke the flagpole and took it. It was found and returned by a neighbor. Instantly, it became apparent that we did not feel, we were no longer feeling safe here. Jared says most of his neighbors have been supportive, but not all of them, saying one of them tried intimidating him outside his home. They freaked us out pretty good, took off down to the end of the road, went around the cul-de-sac, came back, came up in front of the house again, stared us down, and then took off speed, like tire screech and took off into the community. Jared tells us he's filed two police reports, but just last week, he opened up a letter from the Ocotillo Heights Homeowners Association that says the couple made a change to the exterior of their property that was not allowed. It starts off by saying, you know, remove the flag and return your property to its original condition. Many HOAs do have restrictions on where you can attach a flagpole to your property. Jared says when he called to figure out an alternative, he was only told it has to come down. But he says the flag isn't going nowhere. I've been asked enough times over the past, you know, month, is it worth it? If something were to happen to you and your husband, if somebody were to try and hurt you, is it worth it? As Casey Torres reporting, Jared says the community manager told him the pride flag is not covered in the Arizona revised statutes for flag displays. That statute does not allow an HOA to prohibit the installation of other flags as well, like the American state or military branch flag. One group here in the Valley is coming up with new creative ways for people of all abilities to enjoy the game of soccer. We first told you about Ability 360 Sports last week when the organization hosted a game for people in wheelchairs. Well, today the sports club hosted a game for those with visual impairments at the Phoenix location. Since everyone's level of visual impairment is different, the game was played with everyone wearing blindfolders to ensure the game was fair. Then they try to throw the ball into the goal. Everyone also stays quiet inside the gym so the players can listen to the ball in order to find it. That's a really incredible thing about this sport is it gives the athletes uh, the opportunity for empowerment through community, through being able to compete in something as extreme and intense as goalball. Athletes came from multiple states to play today. As long as I'm happy with what I'm doing and I'm um, doing a good job and learning and making myself better, then whatever opportunities are going to come forth, you know, we're going to see where they take me. Well, we now know what is next for Ronnie Gajownik. She was a coach in the Diamondbacks minor league system last year. But yesterday, she was named manager of the High A Hillsborough Hops. Gajownik will be the first woman to lead a team at that level in the minor leagues. We talked to her back in November when she was coaching for the Salt River Raptors in the Arizona Fall League. She says one of her greatest joys of being a woman in baseball is setting an example for the young girls interested in the sport.
Growing up, my dad would take me out of school sometimes and take me to spring training games growing up in Central Florida. And, you know, if, if I was living around this area as an eight-year-old and my dad took me out of school and took me to a game and I saw a female on field, like, how did she get there? So it's really cool just to have that visibility because, again, when you can see something, then you know that you can be there. So it's just really cool to be a part of that progress along with all the other females that are doing that in baseball and basketball and football. So it's, it's, it's been a really great experience. Yeah, really cool stuff right there with Ronnie. You can read more on her journey on our AZ Family website. Still to come, repurposing old Christmas trees. We'll show you why they ended up in the water and how it's helping the fish under the surface. And one girl is turning to forensic science to prove Santa Claus is real. We'll show you what she is doing to prove his existence. All right. Hopefully you're having a great Saturday so far. We are tracking very cool overnight lows and also the chance for some snow. We'll have details still ahead. Whether you're headed up north or enjoying the valley sun, staying aware and being prepared will keep your family safe. That's why we're committed to being your first alert weather and traffic team. Be the first to know when your pets, plants, pipes, and precious ones need extra attention. Ice, snow, shut down roads. First alert gets you to where you need to go. Quickly and safe. If conditions can change your day, you'll hear about it first from your first alert weather and traffic team on Arizona's Family, free TV. Hey, cool costumes! Thanks. What are you supposed to be? I'm Tacoma! He's a truck. Do you, like, turn into a robot or something? No, but I can conquer any terrain. Toe, haul. Cool. No, it's, it's a character I'm working on. Toyota Tacoma, our hero. Right now, lease a new 2023 Tacoma for just $279 a month. Or a new 4Runner for only $359 a month. Toyota, let's go places. It's good to have options, to never feel stuck with more or less than you actually want, to make a change when you feel like it. That's why at Cox, we're making a change too. Cox now offers flexible internet plans, so you can choose to just go with internet, add TV tomorrow, or home automation down the line. It's easier than ever to get just what you want and nothing you don't. Get a flexible internet plan for the everyday low price of $49.99. started in the roofing business in 1963 on the promise there's only one way the right way we protect your roof with thick waterproof rubberized asphalt not felt paper so when it's time to repair or replace your roof and you need a guy i'm your girl we're right way roofing and we do it right we'll always keep you water tight Y'all feeling lucky? Luke Combs here, and I have an exclusive opportunity for you to win a half a million dollars by joining me in the Living Lucky with Luke Combs Lottery Experience. When it rains, it pours for lucky fans and lottery players who enter to win a chance of a lifetime. Join me in Nashville for a private concert at the iconic Ryman Auditorium in 2024. One lucky winner will have the chance to walk away with a half million dollars at the end of the show. Enter eligible tickets on the Arizona Lottery Players Club by February 28th. Learn more at azplayersclub.com. Hear about Traffic first from your... I don't know if I really want to see Holly Bach right now with what she's about oh. to tell us about next week. We're such babies, Gosh. really, like everywhere else in the country. I know. They're really dealing with cold temperatures. Michael, I know. And we're Boston. like, Boston. come know, on. You're just the messenger. Shape I know. Up. Don't now take it he's personal. Because he's been in Arizona <laughs> is, for a year. That is true. And Holly, yeah. if this was Royal Paul Horton, I'd say the same thing. It's not, don't take it personal, all right? <laughs> it's just funny because we get so, I guess our bodies just adjust, you know? For me, it's like once it hits 60, I'm freezing. Done. And oh, so, oh, yeah. Oh, man. So all winter, you just must be. It's awful. Wow. Yeah. 
<laughs> but I think we all just kind of get used to it, right? Uh, and then we're waiting for the warmer weather, but then when that comes, we'll be complaining about that too. Uh, what we're going to be talking about is of course going to be our morning low temperatures. Those are going to be pretty cold and that's a trend we've already been seeing the last couple of days. Today, our low was at 38 degrees early this morning and that's the coldest reading we've had since December 17th. You sh you'll see we should be at 47 and also much cooler daytime highs as well, only topping out at 59 when we should get to 68. So that's kind of the trend again we're going to see over the next couple of days. Some areas here in the valley already dropping into the 30s. We have 37 in Cave Creek, a majority of the valley now in the 40s and still hanging on to 50 degrees right now here at Phoenix Sky Harbor. So heading out tonight, have that jacket with you. It's going to get cooler and some areas, most areas I should say south and east of us here in the valley are going to be under this freeze warning. The purple is a hard freeze warning. Temps are going to be dropping near that freezing point overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. So definitely layer on up. Tomorrow we're also looking at windy, gusty conditions in western Arizona. Right along the Colorado River we could see some blowing dust tomorrow night into Monday because of our next storm system we're tracking. But again, the big talker will be those cool temperatures. If you're traveling up north for tomorrow, have tons of layers. Temps are going to be in the single digits in areas like Window Rock, Flagstaff, three degrees in the Grand Canyon early tomorrow morning. 20s from Sedona to Payson, 15 for Show Low, and 36 degrees here at Phoenix Sky Harbor. So for tomorrow, trending cooler than normal. Temperatures going to be in the 50s throughout a large majority of the day. High temps, we're looking at 59 for tomorrow. Again, well below average for this time of the year. 40s in areas like Sedona and Kingman, 33 for Flagstaff. But we're also tracking that chance for some snow. This is tomorrow night into early Monday morning. We're looking at about three to four inches possible falling Monday uh, throughout the early morning hours. And then that should clear up as we head into Monday night and into Tuesday. So cooler the next couple of days, only 52 on Monday. We do get back to 60 by Wednesday into the weekend. Right, bundle up. Thank you, Holly. <laughs> well, the holiday season is over. One group is making the most of old Christmas trees. Staff from the Arizona Game and Fish Department are using them to create new fish habitats at Canyon Lake. So those trees were loaded onto a pontoon boat and then just dropped in different parts of the lake. Game and Fish say the trees will help, giving, will help give shelter to different fish populations and give plankton a place to grow and give nutrients to the smaller fish. Boone Valley Nursery here in Phoenix donated nearly 400 trees for this event. All right, a girl in Rhode Island has come up with a pretty unique way here to really see if Santa Claus is real. The young bright mind has decided to use DNA from some half-eaten cookies that Kris Kringle <laughs> left behind at her house this year. This is just so cute. The girl sent a package to her local police department with a letter saying she had collected the cookies that Santa left half-eaten at her house. The police department sent off the DNA for testing. It's an incredible first, and, and we're excited put together an evidence packet and sent it to the state uh, forensic unit. We want to foster her, her curiosity and her investigative skills. The results of the DNA test are still pending. Right now, the only charges Santa is facing at the moment is failure to finish <laughs> snacks. I don't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> Still to come in sports, ASU, U of A, GCU, all with big games at home Saturday as they compete for conference supremacy. And the Suns, the team that almost never lost two in a row the last few seasons, looking for two wins in a row for the first time in how long? Hear about weather first from your first alert weather and traffic team on Arizona's Family 3 TV. When you need to replace your windows and doors, do it once with Lifetime Windows and Doors. Enjoy $285 off each window, $650 off each door, and 24 months, same as cash financing. Call 480-400-8000 now for a free, accurate estimate. The scientists and engineers that support the next mission to Mars could be in this class. Getting a degree at ASU is a journey that can take you anywhere. Into a world of groundbreaking technology, renowned award-winning faculty, professors who help you to impact the world, whether you're on campus or at home. Becoming your best starts with learning from the best. This is the 2023 Nissan Rogue. With a surprisingly fuel-efficient VC turbo engine, 
You can go from zero to fun in no time and leave basic far behind. The 2023 Nissan Rogue. Anything but basic. Get 1.9% financing for 36 months on Rogue with best-in-class fuel economy among gas engines. To everyone who loves great food, let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each butter burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, and the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. After my auto accident, I was in constant pain in my neck and back. The pain kept me from doing the things I love to do. Good thing I called emergency chiropractic. They treated me with no deductibles, no co-pays, and no out-of-pocket costs. Thanks to emergency chiropractic, I'm back on the trails doing what I love to do. Emergency chiropractic, the kind of care you want today. Buckle up! As a charge nurse, you can be a confident and dynamic leader who supports the nursing team and guides their patient care. Grand Canyon University's RN to BSN online degree program equips you with strategies that prepare you to manage the ever-changing realities of healthcare while maintaining focus on family support and patient outcomes. What do you think making a difference in healthcare looks like? GCU offers over 250 high-quality online programs like this one. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Visit gcu.edu. When you need to upgrade the bathrooms in your home, do it once with Lifetime Bath & Shower. Enjoy $1,500 off your next bath project and payments as low as $111 a month. Call 480-400-8000 now for a free, accurate estimate. Sports is sponsored by Lerner & Row Injury Attorneys. Well, Thursday night, the Phoenix Suns looked a lot more like the Phoenix Suns. The return of Cam Johnson reinvigorating DeAndre Ayton and Mikhail Bridges. But two days later, Cam resting as they try to build up his endurance and DA woke up six Saturday. So a shorthanded version of the Suns once again with the Pacers in town. Got a lot of this scrap. Ish Wainwright the steal. Saban Lee who just signed another 10 day to Jock Landale for an 87-83 lead through three. Early fourth, Damian Lee off the inbound. Four point play to put Phoenix up niner. 16 points for D. Lee. The high scorer, Josh Kogi. No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. 24 points off the bench after breaking his nose Monday. The roll guys were pretty much all great down the stretch. Up three, just over a minute to play. Ish Wainwright, the clutch corner three. Then up three again inside of 30 seconds. Ish finds Landale, who had a double-double. Suns win two in a row for the first time in more than a month. 112-107. College Hoops ASU looking to bounce back, not allow one loss to turn into two after seeing number five UCLA end Thursday's otherwise tightly contested battle on a 16-2 run. Well, the Sun Devils never really in the game tonight. Trailing USC by 20 right now with under four minutes to play in Tempe. Not what Bobby Hurley wanted to see. In Tucson, Arizona completes a sweep of the SoCal schools, grinding out a win against UCLA. Wildcats get a double-double from Azulas to Bellis and 16 points from Umar Balo as the Bigs help turn a three-point game at half into a 13-point lead. U of A ends the Bruins' 14-game winning streak, and Tommy Lloyd now 3-0 against top five teams. Back in Phoenix, GCU trying to stay in the thick of things in the whack. Trailed Utah Valley by eight in the final 90 seconds, then go on a 7-0 run. A frantic comeback to get within one. Now down two in the final five seconds. Chance McMillan fouled before the tip-in. He's going to the line. Make them both. We go to OT. He misses the first. Lopes lose 76-74, drop to 4-3 and three in conference. To hockey, the Arizona Coyotes continue to struggle here in the middle of the season. The Stars light the lamp twice in the first five minutes Saturday night in Dallas. Connor Ingram not enjoying his night in goal. It was 3-0 by the end of the first, 4-0 through two. That's the final. Yotes have now lost 11 of their last 12. I will not be going to the game. Um, my goal is to only play in Super Bowls as long as I'm playing football. 
Um, I've been in one and I plan on getting in another. Cardinals tight end Zach Ertz doing a meet and greet at a Valley Verizon store Saturday. Ertz, a Super Bowl champion, partnering with the company to send fans to the next three title games. Now, the last time we saw him in a Cards uniform, November 13th in Los Angeles, Ertz tore his ACL and MCL. The 32-year-old telling AZ family today, rehab is going well, but everyone's excited where he's at after two months of what he called tedious, monotonous work. Ertz's goal is to be suiting up week one. I think there have been moments where it's made me desire to be on that field even more so. Um, I've never had any doubt that I want to get back to the level that I was playing at before I got hurt. I love the game so much. It's given my family and I so much. And I love competing. And it's all about the competition for me and trying to find ways to get better. And I still love finding little ways to get better, even though I just finished my 10th year. And so for me, there's never been a thought where, man, is this going to be worth it? Because I know um, God works all things for good. And that's all I'm focused on right now. Day one of the NFL's divisional round in the books. Chiefs, Jaguars, and Kansas City started with a bang. Couple opening drive TDs. Christian Kirk here for the Jags. Third straight game, the Swore Ohio alum finds the end zone. Then a scary moment for the fans at Arrowhead. Patrick Mahomes badly injures his ankle, was limping around out there before being forced into the locker room. The likely league MVP then came back in the second half, still couldn't move much, but with the Chiefs up three in the fourth, throws a jump pass touchdown. That's ultimately the difference. KC onto the AFC title game for the fifth year in a row. The NFC's top seed, the Eagles had a much easier go of it at home against their division rival. Philly scores touchdowns on four of its five first half possessions. Jalen Hurts throws for two, runs for another. It was 28-0 at the break. They cruise. 38 to 7 beating the Giants for the third time this year. All right, Nick, thank you. Got a lot more to come up in the next hour. We'll see you in just a few minutes. AZFamily.com is sponsored by Fitzmorris Hand Institute. If you have pain from the elbow down, visit the experts in minimally invasive hand and wrist treatment. Now offering urgent care at Bell Road and the 101. Thanks for watching Arizona's Family. Watch us live wherever you are, our mobile and streaming news app. You can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, Fire TV, and Android TV. Subscribe on YouTube for live breaking news and video on demand. A new way to select and buy an RV or adventure van has arrived. La Mesa and RecVan present Arizona's largest indoor climate controlled showroom. Find your new RV or adventure van at La Mesa and RecVan. When you catch a big wild trophy fish, you mount it on a soft sesame bun, crispy fish, and this other stuff, two for seven bucks every day. Arby's, we have the meat. Diamonds, the jewelry exchange's lowest price ever. Half carat pendants, two forty nine. One carat studs, two ninety nine. Two carat solitaires, fourteen ninety. Thousands of GIA diamonds at their lowest price ever. Guaranteed. The Jewelry Exchange Phoenix. You've got something dark. Lease a new 2023 Soul LX for $229 a month. Y'all feeling lucky? Luke Combs here, and I have an exclusive opportunity for you to win a half a million dollars by joining me in the Living Lucky with Luke Combs Lottery Experience. When it rains, it pours for lucky fans and lottery players who enter to win a chance of a lifetime. Join me in Nashville for a private concert at the iconic Ryman Auditorium in 2024. One lucky winner will have the chance to walk away with a half million dollars at the end of the show. Enter eligible tickets on the Arizona Lottery Players Club by February 28th. Learn more at azplayersclub.com. At Wells Fargo, direct deposits come up to two days early with early payday. What if everything came two days early? Have a good weekend, Mary. All right now. Have a good weekend. But it's Wednesday. See you Monday. Am I missing something? It's the weekend, baby. See you later. Like getting things two days early? When it comes to payday, you can with Wells Fargo. What are you doing this weekend? 
A new way to select and buy an RV or adventure van has arrived. La Mesa and RecVan present Arizona's largest indoor climate-controlled showroom. Find your new RV or adventure van at La Mesa and RecVan. Who do you count on as the day starts to dodge delays? An overturned truck is blocking all lanes. Avoid surprises. This cold front is about to drench the valley. And plan ahead. Inflation is soaring. Even grocery prices are continuing to go up. Good morning, Arizona. Weekdays from 4.30 to 10 on Arizona's Family 3 TV. Arizona's Family News at 10 starts now.